Pichani. Today I'm going to show you how to build a cool retro TV cat house. Um, the reason why I'm doing this project because like, I have a uh, side hustle as a uh, flipping the place and rent it out for the profit. And actually uh, I have a one project that is uh, renovating the place inside the colonial style building. And the room layout itself it look kind of like classic. But the furniture looks dark and unwelcoming. You can see in this picture. Yeah, you can see it's like it's so outdated furniture. It needs to be like fresh up. But I want to keep the style as like a retro, classical, and like colonial, mix it together. And this uh, apartment is a pet friendly apartment. So I have an idea of like why don't I like put a little feline house in this apartment. So I searched on uh, Pinterest to look for the idea of like um, what kind of like retro cool looking cat house, right? Because like normal cat house is kind of like pink or like those kind of like colorful people. I'm not colorful people. I'm just like sad, black, white, those, <laughs> those color only. So I found out like many people um, return, uh, turning like the old TV into the cat house. And it looks so cool and it looks so unique um, and it could be like a piece of art in the room as well so that's why I started project and it's cost me around like 60 bucks which is like it's really good price for like good-looking furniture in your place too so that's why I want to share to you like how to build this cat little house but by the way that room that you saw now is this this room now that I'm in. Now it's look like bright and up, right? <laughs> I'm so glad that I picked this room. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you the material and also how to do it. Easy step, guys. Just you need some <laughs> hot glue. <laughs> That's what I did. I'm not really good at fixing stuff as well. I'm just good at like coloring stuff. Okay, let's go. This is all the thing you need to build a cool cat TV house. Of course, the first one is cool retro TV. Second one is screwdriver. We're gonna take all the part of everything inside of TV to make like a cave for the cat. Third one is wire cutter. Fourth is filter board. I put a filter board at the back because uh the TV uh my my other uh, TV I bought is like the back is gone. Uh, the filter board you can buy from stationery as a cheap material. Five is cutter. Six is super glue. I use only like two little two for super glue, and that should be fine. Seven is wooden board. Wooden board I put um at the bottom of the of the TV because the TV they have like some little wire or like it's kind of like wire dangling and like if I'm a cat I feel not comfortable like <laughs> laying down on like and uneven like surface and it is a cool cloth to put uh, on the wooden board and make your cat feel comfy so let's see how I do this package I was so excited to open it even though like I got home around 10 p.m. <laughs> um, the TV itself is around 50% in condition uh, but it's okay. We're gonna clean it out, right? Um, I got this TV from Facebook Marketplace. I just searched retro TV and the list of product come up. I got it from a secondhand shop. It was forty bucks, including delivery. So it was a good price. Inside the TV is really packed with a monitor that we have to use screwdriver to take this whole part out to make a cave for our lovely friends. But yeah, uh, inside um, the retro TV, they have like a different kind of screw that you have to use like many side of screwdriver. See like the base monitor, I don't know what that is called, but I have to take it out to make a clear space, right? Um, it's really hard to take it out at first and I got like little moody, but once like I got like the Y cutter and cut it out and then you can see like I can lift it and it was so satisfying like I lift the whole part Lifting out. the base out 
um, I lift whole screen out. It was so like thick, and it was a glass under it, but I did it. It was so fun. Time to clean the 30 years old dust. When I use my clothes to clean it, it was so satisfying, you guys. It's like, you know, giving a new life for this TV. And all of my clothes is like really black. And it was so satisfying for me because I am a disgusting person. <laughs> I use a filter board because I think it's a cheap one and I don't know how to use a screw to do the wood stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I use a filter board and stick with the double side tape at first and then I use this super glue. It was so sticky and smelly but it's so powerful you guys. Now you can see at the back is covered and it's perfect for me, at least for me. <laughs> so I use this cool looking brittle beach towel first <laughs> because like I, I couldn't buy anything in the house that looked cool with this kind of pattern. And it was fit in nicely. my video i hope you enjoy it and it's useful for you i would love to see all of your creation you can tag me on instagram here 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 <laughs> at p p i t c h a n e e p p chani upload your picture and tell me how you feel about your creation i hope you enjoy it and also you can follow me here this button where is the youtube follow button whatever here yeah, you can follow me. I always upload a video once per week about real estate improvement, DIY stuff, how to improve yourself with real estate, generate more cashing income, and also self-improvement. It's bullshit, but it's true. Whatever. See you guys.